Week number four is read ingredients. You're gonna read ingredients this week and you're going to learn something about something you didn't know what it was. So um, I want you to um, get in the habit of when you pick something up off the shelf, read the back, know what's in it before you take it home to your family. Um, I have tried to stay away from as much prepackaged and pre prepared meals as possible. I used to be a hamburger helper girl and hot dogs and, and corn dogs and frozen pizzas and all that. I've, I rarely have that stuff in my house anymore. Um, so, because of the ingredients. If you don't know what something is that you're eating, we always tell our children, never take something that you don't know what it is um, when we're teaching drug awareness. And yet as adults, we are the worst druggies of all, never questioning what's in our food. Um, when I started getting into this several years ago, it was really eye-opening and I realized why I was depressed, why my son was having behavior problems. My, my kids, two of my kids were having serious behavior problems and I was severely depressed. And um, I really attribute it to the, the chemicals that were in our food, the drugs we were eating for our food every day. Um, and so since we've eliminated those things and have gotten a lot more cautious about what we allow our family to eat, almost all of those behavioral problems have disappeared, including mine. <laughs> I had the worst behavior problems. Um, and so those are pretty much gone, almost completely. So it's very exciting to see what's happened there. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is um, if, you get your, if you do have children, get them involved in reading ingredients and have them research. It's fun to hear my kids say, Mom, holy cow, did you know we're eating plasticizers? Did you know that this thing causes cancer? Um, another thing also, don't trust the front packaging that says all natural, healthy snack option. You must read the ingredients. It happened to me one time I was eating these. Um, oh, they were, what were they? <laughs> my husband will remember. They were like a dried banana thing that were like salsa flavored. And they were so good. And I bought them because I looked at the front packaging and it says, healthy treat, you know, all natural, blah, blah, blah. And so I was eating them like, holy cow, these are so good. And I ate the whole package all by myself while I shared some with my husband. And it wasn't until after it was almost gone that I finally decided to say, you know what in the world is in these? I was making these so yummy. And then, um, sure enough, it was MSG, um, which I have tried to eliminate completely because of how highly addictive and dangerous that chemical is to our body. Um, and it also produces fat cell growth. It enhances fat cell growth. So if you want to get fat, eat lots of MSG. You don't want to um, get fat and have cancer and all those other problems. Stay away from MSG. It's a horrible product. Anyway, so um, I was pretty upset to realize I knew better. I knew better not to trust the pretty green um, packaging that looked like it was a natural, healthy food. They really worked hard to make sure I believed that it was a natural food and assumed that morons wouldn't read the ingredients, and they were right. I didn't read the ingredients. I trusted the pretty packaging, and I took something into my body that I never intended to eat. So. Um, with that in mind, know that there's a lot of garbage out there in food. Um, read the ingredients. Be aware at all times of what you're putting into your body. If you didn't make it yourself with organic food that you grew yourself, then you need to know what you're eating. Just like you would hope your kid wouldn't just take some pills from somebody at the school and say, oh yeah, whatever, sure, I'll take that. you got to be more aware. Um, be aware what you're eating. That's all I want you to do. All right? Read the ingredients. If you don't know what it is, research. Find out what it is. Okay, look, Google it. Find out. Holy cow, what is this hydrolabalabalabalahanahana thing? What the heck am I eating? Okay, what the heck are you eating? What the heck are you eating? That's, that's your challenge today is to find out. Okay, and then um, do your exercises. Do the online circuit. Follow the menus. You're doing great. Comment below. Tell us how you did today or what you're planning on doing, and uh, we want to hear from you. You're doing great. Keep it up. See you soon.